Hello everyone, welcome back to the second part of uh, this tutorial series. Uh, I kind of changed it around a little bit. I don't like this one. Don't like this one. And I'm going for one of these two. I think I'm going to take this one because it has the, the most detail to it. So I'm going to take this one, delete it. I'm going to delete it here as well because I don't need it. And with this, I'm going to make basic ground floor. And yeah, I know this is starting to look like a new game. Okay, so this brings me to the next thing, and I forgot to do one little thing. So I'm going to go back to one there. What I forgot to do was this is fine, but I need to select this one and put it on the ground layer. And now I can start making the little map. Okay, that's a, a good start. I'm gonna take, which one is it? The sixth, no, this one. And drag it out a little bit more. Like so. So yeah, this is basically going to be our main level. And as you can see over here, this is starting to pile up. We're going to uh, adjust that in just a second. Okay, so this is going to be our basic main level. The character is going to start here. He can use some kind of stairs to get up there. And here, this is going to be a pit of doom. We're going to get a little door here to go to the next level or whatever. But first, let's fix this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here, create an empty. It's going to be in the middle. And I'm going to call this barriers. Basically, barriers, this is the name that I give to everything that makes my character stop. And I'm going to select all these stones and drag it on top of barrier. So it's a child of that. If I close this now, my hierarchy is empty. If I select barrier, I can move everything around and center it. And the good thing about this is if I want to, I can open here, take this one, and just continue building if I want to. And that's all going to be inside of this barrier. Okay, so we did that. I said we're going to do the background now. Uh, normally, this is not what you are supposed to be doing next. But I want to do the barrier, uh, the background first, so I can show the difference in layers once we do our little character. I don't need this one, so I'm going to delete that. Okay, so the background, we're going to go back to GIMP. This is my little block that I made. File, new. 100 by 100 and great it has the color that I wanted to have just maybe whoops make it a little bit darker because it's the background okay fill it in so we have at least a little visual representation and for this one I'm going to do something special 
I'm going to get in a little bit more of detailing. Well, detailing just a little bit more going on than there's going on up here. Uh, which one was I going to use? Right, I was going to put this one over here because I'm going to reuse all those colors. I'm just going to make them in a slightly darker tone. Haha. <laughs> no, I can't use this. I can use these, but I can't use the top one. So, semi light. Actually, that's just white. Okay. New layer, semi, semi light, and darker. Now, what I'm going to do to this is with the darker, it was at 30, so I'm going to make this 15, and the semi light was at 15, so I'm going to make this 7.5 or 7,5. Just to get some uh, detail again. Now I'm going to start with doing some of my edges, my sides. And I did this in uh, rows of five. I want to keep that. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger like so and now I need the darker one from here to let's say there that's too far, way too far. I want to go something like over here so I can put a couple next to it. Yeah, I can do that. Two. Three. Four. And five. Okay. So now again, semi light, bringing this back up one. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and five. Again, darker. There, one, two, three, four, and five. <laughs> so this is going to be our main stone. We're going to fit in some stones over here as well to get different textures going on. But the first thing that I want to do is, and I need to check that from here, this darker one, it's at 26. I'm going to keep that. Hmm. I'm going to. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I might as well just uh, keep that darker. And that's going to be at 26. And what this is going to do, this is basically going to be the outlining of these boxes. So I technically have four and four and four. Now, as you can see, these guys, these sides, they don't look too nice. I am going to change that up in a second. I'm first going to make all my little boxes that I want to have. Maybe one like this. This and 
when going like this just to not have too many different boxes in here same over here one box like this and the last one okay good so we've got our little box set up i don't really like this but yeah what i could do is i could make a little line down here that maybe makes it look a little bit better. You can do the entire thing like this. I can go from uh, here, I can go up like so. Like so. And uh, whoops, just drag this out. Okay, so I'm going to put the same lines that you can see on the rest of this. I'm going to do the same thing to all these little boxes. And I'm going to do that for you guys' convenience in a time lapse. Okay, so now we did that. This, this kind of looks, well, I would say cool. In my eyes, this looks cool. Now we need to go to our to our eraser, hard, hard edges, and we're going to start making them look better. Okay, so that's the next step. <laughs> now there's one more thing before I'm going to export this and that's uh, putting in these little detail lines. I'm not going to go in too deep on, on those. I'm just going to take the edges, pull them down to the middle of the object, like so. Of course, you guys don't need to use this way of uh, making your models. You can do whatever you want. This is just an example of how I do it. My basically my style of doing this at the moment. Okay, so. Uh, all model is done. Yay, it's going to look something like this, I guess. Let's uh, export this as wall. In my case, wall. You, you guys name it whatever you want. This is just an example. And this really starts looking like uh, the old school Mario models which isn't a bad thing. Uh, where is it? Here. Okay. Unity. There. Now I'm going to put this on top of this one. And uh, I'm going to have a look at add layer. Let's see. Eight walls. So if I select this now and I push in walls it's still visible okay so add layer i'm going to undo this and i'm going to call 31 walls so now if i put this on the layer walls it should disappear which it didn't hmm. oh damn so it's here that we need to do that. Let's name this then walls. So it's in the sorting layer 
alt false. Now we take this, we drag it up, and as you can see, it disappeared. I'm sorry that I told you guys something wrong in the previous video. I thought that was the way to do it. So yeah, this is behind our main layer, our main map thingy. And I'm going to make another empty, create empty. And this is going to be background because it's not only going to have the wall, but it's also going to have other things that are on the background. So I'm going to drag it in, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and it's time to, oops. I need to drag in wall into background. Control C, Control V, and I'm just going to fill this in. There. So we've got two objects, the barrier and the background. And as you can see, the background doesn't look that nice. You can still see it's all cubes, but that doesn't really matter. What I think I will be doing really fast is Delete these. Hmm. I'm going to wait. I'm first going to darker. 100%. Yeah, that should be good enough. There. And now just make them look darker than the main one. I think 25 should be good. I'm going to export this as, uh, where is it? Wall. Wall. There. Replace. And I'm going to delete this. There. So you guys know how to do that. Off camera, I'll be adding all these wall pieces. It's going to look very, very boring for now, but I'm going to add in these wall pieces and uh, then we're going to get into the next part. I'll see you guys then. Bye.